All right, and we are live and back with part five of our Resident Evil playthrough. Um, this is gonna be the finale. We're playing as Chris. Ethan has gotten his heart ripped out. Quite literally, this is not a metaphor. Dude is uh facing some serious issues at the moment. Uh, what some might describe as completely and totally beyond the definition of a life. Otherwise known as dead. Hey Alpha, what's this? I still don't know why Chris and his team landed all the way out here. I guess to like regroup or whatever, but it's pretty far away from the action. Christ. It looks pretty rough down there. How did they crash? It seemed like they had a hold of it. First we're gonna have to take that thing out. Got your back, boss. Let's get to work. Man, they Everyone really make. Oh, Roger. got the map magician trophy. Guess that's just for discovering like every uh, corner of the map. Contact with a group of hostile bio oh shit! Watch out. And it's Chris. We don't even really have to worry about uh, the ammo we're using. We can just freaking go go ham with it. Nice change of pace from the base game. And uh, they don't drop anything. We're not collecting money or ammo. I think it's only like a specified like supply point so you can get more stuff right here. Man, this feels really good with the dual sets, like feeling the uh, haptic feedback on the triggers. BSAA craft spotted. Two guards. <laughs> I can take them. Don't get cocky. Oh yeah, there's there's some drama going on with uh, the BSAA. With um... did I not open this outhouse? BSAA is up to some shady shit. Even though they were the good guys in Resident Evil Five. Oh hey, Ramen, how's it going, man? Aloha. <laughs> what the hell is that thing? It's all new to my seat. That's probably where Miranda is. I gotta watch me some Let's more uh, Lilo and Stitch. You know what? Because my girlfriend is like freaking obsessed with Lilo and Stitch. Um, I, I don't think the camera's catching it, but there's like a bunch of Stitch bags and whatever. Um, I haven't seen them move in forever. Let's see, and uh, oh yeah, you actually really like the trigger feel for this game. Yeah, it feels so freaking good. Like, I know, um. Shit. Come on, Chris. Use the power of way too much ammo. There we go. See, they're, they're, they're no big problem when you once you have ostensibly unlimited assault rifle ammo. Let's see, but yeah, um, I'm planning on like basically getting like everything multi-platform on my Series X once it comes in tomorrow. But man, the haptic, the haptic uh, feedback. On the, on the triggers for the dual sets are freaking out of this world. So, like, I think maybe for shooters, if I know they have that support, I'll probably still get it on PS5 because it's it's too freaking good. Let's see, it's going good. Hope I'm well. Uh, I'm doing okay-ish. <laughs> I am very tired. I started work at, like, 3 today. Um, Probably go straight to sleep as soon as I'm done here. Oh, and you do a good Stitch voice? You know what? Next time we're, we're playing something, you, you you are now legally required to go ahead and do an impre to do a uh, impersonation. That's just the law. It feels really nice playing this the way that it's intended to feel because there's a dumb. Uh... Oh shit. There's a dumb uh, bug slash glitch, whatever, on the PC version where, like, 90% of the time, once you kill an enemy, the game, like, stutters for a few frames, and it's really freaking jarring. And it really stands out in this section because you're just killing dudes left and right. The PC version uh, leaves a lot to be desired in that regard. I love even feeling like that you don't have any more ammo uh, because the haptic feedback just completely gives out in the controller. Like, 
no no resistance once you're able to get that. Oh shit. This is too beautiful. The yup, Chris is packing a ton of ammo in between his muscles. Hell yeah. Plot twist, uh, Chris isn't buff whatsoever. He just literally hides magazines of ammo in inside his body. Come on, Chris, reload. Oh, See, if we were if we were playing Ethan, this entire section would be a nightmare. But uh, we are Christopher. Christopher does not have these problems. Damn, he can even freaking yeet these enemies back with his fists. Apparently I missed an outhouse on this playthrough. I got the achievement for that on um, PC version. There we go. Actually got two and three remakes on Xbox. Super happy with their performance, but the trigger stuff was too cool to pass up on PS5. I'm, uh, you know what? I think Resident Evil 2. I'm that's gonna be one of the first games I install in the Series X, and I already have like like completely two and three remakes. I have like completely 100 percented on uh, on Xbox at least, but I I just want me some more Resident Evil 2. <laughs> All right, Lobo, marking the target. Roger that, boss. Man, Resident Evil's been on such a freaking roll lately. It's 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 amazing. Reloading. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Uh, you buddy. Okay, I need to dip. Oh, that's the wrong way to dip, Chris. Oh, fuck me. God damn it. Nope. At least you can take more of a hit than Ethan. That barely even did anything. Shit. Oh, shit. Okay, now we're starting to get a little fucked up. Shit. Come on, Chris. Go, go, go. Uh, do I have health? Yes. There we go. Yeah, 2 Remake is such a masterpiece, and it, it feels weird, because I don't want to say I don't feel the need to replay this game, because I do want to do the harder difficulties, I do want to get, like, all of the guns upgraded, but 2 is, like, so specifically tailor-made to be played for, like, repeat playthroughs, because you have each character, and then you have the hardcore mode, um, which like changes all the uh, item placements and whatnot. There's two is definitely tailor made for that specifically. Do you love the series has found new life and is hitting on all cylinders? Hell yeah! Especially after, um, I mean, I'm a resident um, Resident Evil Six uh, apologist, but I think I I will also say like that was a dark time for the series where the quality the bar quality was quite low. So to have it just like kick back so freaking hard is it, it's it's pretty damn reassuring. Yeah, dark times after six. I even like I really like five still. Five is still like a really solid game, like on the gameplay front and whatnot. Are you okay? Good, you are dead. This rifle is so inaccurate at long range, though. I do know you and your love for six. You know what? We might have to co-op that sometime. I'd be super down for that. Oh, whoops, we gotta use this. Why they can't just shoot without the laser? I don't know. Looks like it's about to collapse. Hold your horses. I'm reloading. Is that what you're doing? Oh shit. Okay. Oh, you know what? Somebody is trying to call me. I'm not answering that call because I am streaming. Let me go ahead and let him know.
Did not put my thing on do not disturb. That was my mistake. But yeah, we, we, we gotta get us some Resident Evil 6 kill up going. That'd be freaking sweet. Shit. Reload, Chris. Just keep funneling him. Shit. Oh, okay, I gotta run. Come on, Chris. Run like you mean it, dude. Go, go, go. <laughs> Shit. Oh, fuck. You are right up in here. Oh, god damn it. Oh, this is bad. This is so bad. Oh, nope. This is going horribly. Oh, hey, thanks for the bits, Robin. Much, much appreciated. I think, uh, yeah, I was streaming Resident Evil 6 for a bit and then I gave up like halfway through Chris's campaign, but it will be so much more, it'll be infinitely better with, with a co-op partner for sure. Man, I don't remember having this hard of a t Oh shit. Run! I don't remember having this much trouble fighting these guys the first time. <laughs> I don't think I even really ran so much the first time. I kind of just stuck to this little area. Shit. Uh, that's not good. Reload, Chris. Faster. See, testing out my stream notifications in the S6 is much more fun playing with other humans. Bold of you to assume that I am human, comrade. Maybe I am actually a mold. That'd be a big, that'd be a good plot twist. <laughs> am, wait, am I being dumb? Do I just need a? launch this thing and then we'll be done with it. That's probably what's going on, right? I, I'm probably being dumb. Shit. Oh, that, that, that's a stun lock. Oh, jeez. Damn, this pistol doesn't do much. There we go. Hopefully you can't hit me right here. MOC molds of color. <laughs> oh, I freaking love you, man. You are a beautiful soul. Let's go into the nice big creepy cave. I found a way down. I'm going in. The rest of you stay back. Captain, I compared the mold in the village with a sample from the bakers and. Uh... There's no sign of the genome editing we saw in the E-Series. The stuff originated here. One big lore dump. This is the origin of the mold, which is kind of cool. Uh, oh, fuck. I forgot about this. Can I see him just chilling up there, like, prematurely? Oh, no, he's in the wall. Duh. Guarding the mega mic seat, huh? Oh, thanks, Rob. <laughs> I'm gonna need backup. Boss, you're on the ground. There's an opening in the roof. You there. Okay, I'm moving out. This is such a small battle arena for this fight. What the fuck? Damn. Come on. Unable to use. Oh, no, I have to hit him in the back, right? There we go. I'm overhead, boss. Good. Oh. I'll signal with the locator. Give a good break. Oh, come on. Shit needs to be uninterrupted. Come on, stand still. 
Please. Almost. 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 There we go. Good. Can I even damage him right here? I don't think so. Got a lot of health though. Okay, now we should probably heal. There we go. Not first aid spray, just full on frickin' punch and deals. Come on, Chris, use your boulder punching abilities. This is like literally the best moment for it. Come on. There we go. See, so you showed your wife the flesh baby part of this game. She got more afraid than she's been in years. Damn. Oh, I... Part of me wishes... You know what? I'm going to have to replay this game with my girlfriend sitting next to me like as I played on the TV. Because she's a sucker for horror. She can't stand playing horror games. She likes watching horror games. Don't smack me! Oh. He's already dead. Don't need to do that. Chris Suplex. Yeah, he doesn't punch a single boulder in this game. He does not suplex a single dude. Actually, now I think about it, can Chris suplex in 6? I don't think so. I think that's like a Leon exclusive move. Leon's the king of the uh, roundhouse kicks and suplex. So Miranda was the fake Mia. Where's the real one? I doubt she saw any further use for her. I don't get any of this. How did Miranda even know Rose exists? A moldy little bird told her, maybe? We can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. So disappointing that he can't suplex. It's the Mega My Seed. I love this is, that this just straight up looks like a freaking big red little fetus baby. Alpha to squad. I've located the Mega My Seed. So now we can end this mess after all. About damn time. <sighs> yeah, um, what's his name? Uh, Jake in uh, six has some really cool um, finishing moves. Not before I end Even has like this whole entire like um, hand hand to hand combat like or CQC whatever. Uh, just like you, like all the other characters, you can equip a knife, but it's Jake. You can just equip your fists and do some crazy ass shit. I know it's too late now, but we really should have told Ethan the plan. There wasn't time. We didn't expect Miranda. You, you, you should have just told Ethan the plan. You should have told him. Yep. Yeah. There is no reason for you not to, Chris. You done goofed up real bad here, dude. But uh, yeah, if, if you can like master uh, Jake's uh, little weird CQC stuff that you can do in six, this he can be actually be really freaking good. Here's a book. Uh, subject name, Salvatore Moreau. Got our affinity low, brain function surprisingly low. Uh, that's a bit of an insult. Uh, the cat owl has, has caused drastic changes to internal organs, transforming them into organs similar to fish-like gills and a swim bladder. Another subject with irregular cell division causing him to transform into a giant fish. <laughs> the subject is unable to control this transformation. Too many defects, an unfit vessel for Ava. Um, Ava being the her daughter, Miranda's daughter, that is. Let's see. Uh, you really like that in between all and Wesker's bioterrorism, he found time to get down and dirty. Hey, it, it is canonical that Wesker fucks. Before, he was just like, does Wesker fuck? But now we know that in, that Wesker does, indeed, canonically fuck. <laughs> uh, subject name, Donna Beneviento. Cato affinity, favorable. Brain functions, normal, although severe mental illness. Uh, physically, she is no different from a regular human. However, she can secure... She can secrete a signal-producing substance which controls plants infected by the mutamycete. 
When humans absorb the pollen from a particular flower, she can cause them to have hallucinations. However, she is mentally underdeveloped and has divided her caddo amongst her dolls in order to control them from a distance. An unfit vessel for Ava. Brain functions surprisingly low. Hell yeah, my brother. <laughs> I can really relate to this shit. Um, that's the fishy one, right? I already did that. I didn't. I didn't see the other two books on here. Subject name: Elsina Demetrisk. Uh, Cat affinity most favorable. Brain functions normal. Regeneration rate is incredibly fast. Subject can heal any external wound within seconds and grows her nails into claws in mere moments. Rapid regeneration also means an increased body size. Notes: Due to hereditary blood disease, the subject must ingest human flesh and blood on a regular basis to maintain regeneration properties. I suspect that if the subject's regeneration is not properly balanced, then she may mutate uncontrollably. An unfit vessel for Ava. Well, you know what? Uh, that mutation was pretty cool. Pretty hot. 10 out of 10. Would transform again. Let's see. Subject name, Carl Heisenberg. Cato affinity, incredibly favorable. Uh, brain functions, normal. Damn, like, aside from, like, Demetrisk and Heisenberg, the other two really got the shorthand of the stick. Uh, has electric organs similar to the electric ray. Narca Japonica. These electric organs are connected to the subject's nervous system, can therefore pass and control electricity throughout the entire body, allowing control of magnetic fields which is used to move metal. Splendid specimen, but still an unfit vessel for Ava. I, I love that that is the super loose justification they give for this dude basically Magneto. Uh, she's perfect to me in whatever form she chooses, <laughs> hell yeah. Whoops, left the yelling text on, you know what? I don't think that was a mistake. I think that enhanced it. Here's more caddos, caddos, little mold so baby thingies. Uh, yeah, I connected those dots myself, Chris, but but thank you. Here's a graph, not a graph, a growing thingy picture. There's Miranda, just like a regular researcher back in, what, the 20s or something? Oh, what the fuck are they doing? Cutting their eyes open or something. <laughs> and test subjects. Is that Evelyn? Oh shit. Uh. Dear Miranda, my deepest apologies for not meeting you in person. I would love nothing more than to visit your quaint village once more. However, I am incredibly busy. Then again, I suppose for an immortal woman such as yourself, you no longer remember this poor half-dead medical student in the snow. I have always cherished the revelations I came to 15 years ago when I stayed in your village. I was inspired by your research. To think, one could, one could transform a human by infecting them with an organism. Positively visionary. I knew that with that knowledge I could achieve my own vision for the next step in human evolution. Even after two world wars and humanity on the cusp of another, my conviction never wavered. I realized, however, through the many nights of intellectual talks you and I shared, that your conviction differed from mine. You hoped to bring back a single dead person, while I aimed to change the world. Your experiments on the mold would not have aided me in my endeavor to achieve an exponential infection. I thought a virus would be more effective. That is why, my dear, I had to leave you. I still regret never telling you goodbye. My apologies for reminiscing. I actually have news I thought might please you. I have found the key to evolution, the progenitor, a virus found in Africa. I plan to start a company with friends and colleagues dedicated to the virus's research. I will call it, dun dun dun, Umbrella. Uh, just like the symbol in the cave that we spoke about. I am one step closer to making my vision a reality. I hope you'll be able to achieve your goal someday too. You taught me so much, and for that I will forever be in your debt. Sincerely, your lifelong student, Oswell E. Spencer. Spencer, here. No way. Some cool lore stuff and whatnot, but uh, it feels odd to just kind of like shove it in like 20 years retro retroactively. Uh, cool stuff nonetheless. Uh, I, I don't like things being retrofitted. 
Uh, let's see. Da, da, da. Ha ha, you were thinking the same. They're jumping through all the hoops to say, dude is Magneto, but not Magneto. <laughs> Trademark. Uh, Spencer, being down bad, but not bad enough to stop bioterrorism. <laughs> oh, there's Evelyn. I remember Evelyn. She's evil. She sucks. Uh, my Ava, it's been 100 years since I lost you to the Spanish flu. I was so powerless back then, but now, now I can bring you back to life from the Megamyces. I had to test your new vessel's regenerative abilities. I took her apart and revived her in the Megamyces regulator, the giant's chalice. Oh, freaking regulator. All that is left is to merge her with the Megamyces. The ceremony can finally begin. After I lost you, I was so stricken with grief that I wandered into a cave to die. I so wanted to be with you again, and that's when I found it. The Mega My Seat, completely by accident. That's actually pretty interesting <laughs> that you just stumbled upon it. Uh, when I touched the black substance, my mind was overcome with knowledge. And uh, fuel units and Lamborghinis and <laughs> the Hollywood Hills. Uh, the Mega My Seat breaks down and absorbs the consciousness of those who have perished. I know that if your consciousness were was in yeah was in there too, then there would be a way to bring you back. I just needed the right vessel. When I returned to the village, I implanted the villagers with mold from the Megamyces. That way, I could control them, experiment on them. I've experimented on hundreds of people just to find you the perfect vessel. I even tried to increase the efficiency of finding a vessel by creating a parasite I called Cado. Yet none of my experiments came to fruition. There were some, like Alcina, who were close to being perfect, but almost turned into lichens. I'm sorry, but most turned into lichens. I was once approached by an organization who said they would assist me. I gave them some of the mold and your DNA, but all they created was another defect, Evelyn. Ooh, fucking dissing on Evelyn. Dab for that. Um, but then again, not a complete failure. I learned of Rose thanks to them, and I knew she would be the perfect vessel. There was some interference, but I was able to verify her suitability. Now my research is finally complete. Ava, I have waited too long to see you again. Da, da, da. I see you're with me on the recon. Seems forced. It's fun, but definitely struck me as not really needing that hook. Like, I, I know what we were talking about on the spoiler cast and whatnot. Um, I, I, know, I know Corey and Sarah were, were big fans of it. Just like, well, that explains why he was so interested in doing virus stuff. But to me, it's just like, do you really need an explanation for that it, i don't know i i don't feel like i need like every little minor detail ironed out and it's just like so retrofitted that it's kind of pointless to me personally i need to open that oh i had grenades this whole time but let's open that lock with a grenade <laughs> there we go hell yeah dab 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 <laughs> Umbrise, this is Alpha. Where is Miranda right now? Shouldn't she's Mia she's technically she's be a mold person too? God damn. She had it worse than Ethan. And she was there for way longer. Why are you here? So she should be a mold person too. <laughs> I was caught in Houston experiments. Wait, did you say Mia? Yeah, the story was fine as it was. I didn't really need any background there? elaboration. We can't Don't get distracted. Stick to the mission. I'm headed to the ceremony site. Wait. You can't leave me here. But we can, though. You promised, damn it. You said that you would keep us safe. We did everything that you asked. We moved over here, everything. He was like full on controlled molded. Like like Ethan never turned so freaking homicidal <laughs> against anyone. So you tell or, or lost his where consciousness. Is my husband. Where is my daughter? Ethan is gone. So she should she should have it significantly worse than Ethan. But I can save Rose. So even with the joke that Ethan is mold and therefore Mia fucked a mold man, technically she should be a mold person too. So it was just two mold people going at it. What do you mean he's gone? He's dead. So you love the deep lore, but seems more suited for a tie-in novel, which I would buy. Yeah, I would totally buy that. If there's like if there's like an extensive like freaking like novel series on Resident Evil like to the same tone of um. Of uh, the Halo novels or Gears novels, stuff like that. I would totally you be all over that. 
special he is. Yeah, I don't think they really explicitly say that she was like injected with a cure. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Shh. Fuck, you're right, actually. You're absolutely right. She she did get the cure. And Ethan did. Okay, never mind. Shit, you're right. So it's there. Huh. Okay, never mind. Yeah, you got it right. That that's why if you don't give her the cure, she turns evil again and you have one more fight with her. Yeah, because you have to choose between like Mia and um and Zoe. And then picking Mia is like the obviously the, the canonical choice, I guess. Shit. My body. Come on, Ethan. Not having a heart isn't an excuse to not be alive. <laughs> That's just lazy. <laughs> yeah, she's still crazy. I wouldn't be able to sleep next to uh, my partner if she had chainsawed my fucking arm off. <laughs> Don't care if you were possessed. That, that That's too traumatizing. I mean, Miranda. She... No. I still have to save Rose. <laughs> it wasn't Miranda. You were always dead. My standards are crazy. <laughs> I, I have very high standards for not wanting my partner to chainsaw my arm off. <laughs> See? I'll take it. Miranda didn't kill you. You mean you didn't think it was weird? No matter how much. What is this all about? Why are these boots talking to me? It's still such a trip that they even bother bringing Evelyn back in, in this way. Three years ago, the Baker House. See, look, look how fucked up Mia is right there too. You were murdered by Jack. You died there three years ago. With Ethan in his arms, you're like Lego minifigure arms. Just pull him out and reattach him. That's that's their actual secret true ending plot twist is that he's not mold he's just a he's just a sentient Lego uh, minifigure. Were those boots for talking or walking? In, in Evelyn's case, they're made for murdering. Use a moldy boy, Ethan. I I did all that. I just find it hard to believe that they would do all this testing on Mia, Ethan, and um, and Rose, and they would, and they just wouldn't find out that Ethan is is a mold man. <laughs> yep, that that looks pretty moldy to me, dude. <laughs> Sentient Lego man. How do you get it? Your whole body is nothing but mold. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't eat your potatoes fast enough. They get all moldy, Ethan. Spoilers, Ethan is actually Emmett from the future of the Lego movie. No. Everything wasn't awesome for Ethan. <laughs> oh, I fucking love that. That's that's beautiful. My daughter. You're already dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> I mean, you're t you're dead too, Evelyn. You you've been dead for way longer. <laughs> you're just talking shit at this point. I, I, I will. That's that's literally like you're playing like a multiplayer match, and the dude at the bottom of the of the scoreboard, like like zero to twenty, is, is talking shit on you. <laughs> Ethan Winter is closer to a potato than a man. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. He doesn't even have potato face graphics because he doesn't even have a face. He, he's he is lesser than a potato. Where am I? My carriage, Ethan. 
You were having a nightmare. I love that they never bother to explain Duke? um who Your the Duke is Eisenberg and how he does or or how he does like anything that he does. Himself. How long have I been out? Not long till dawn. <laughs> My connection wasn't shit and I was lagging. Duke, I would have won this match by myself. Right. Screw y'all. <laughs> Take me to Miranda. Oh man, I, I, I'm so glad I'm past those days of, of multiplayer games. I don't talk to anybody when I'm playing multiplayer. Like, like obviously like party chat Ethan, discord with friends, but like randoms, sure nope. Don't Your want nothing to do with them. Well, falling apart. <sighs> yes. Foolish of me to ask. Speaking of foolish questions, who or what are you? He's the Duke, Ethan. Even I can't quite answer that. <laughs> Such a cop out answer, too. We're here. Well, I think I did a little bit of a better job getting, uh. I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. Are you ready? I mean, I don't really have an option, Duke, but okay. Yeah, I, I definitely got more resources this time around than, um, the first time I played. But, uh, definitely gonna have to do a hardcore playthrough, do the, uh, whatever that hardest difficulty is, because I want to upgrade my shit. What do I eat? Oh, I have a lot of shotgun ammo, I've got... Damn, I got a lot of ammo. Hells yeah. Where did the horse go? Did you, like... Wait, what? Oh. I know. He would have been right here, but he was... I'm so confused. I don't know how the horses work. Uh, yep, public lobby mute. Yeah, if, if there's an option, like, in the options menu, to just, like, by default mute everybody, I will absolutely freaking do that ten times out of... Um, ten times out of ten, whatever. Um... I'm at Victoria Coram. Let's sell this stuff. Oh, the assemblage of life and machine. I can feel Lord Heisenberg's essence through it. Cut greatly increases firepower. Hells yes. Uh, buy all the ammo we need. <laughs> we just go to gunsmithing to upgrade. Ah, it's fine. All finished. Uh, I think that's about all we can really get for now. Yep. Oh well. Please be well. See, so hoping to try the harder difficulties with infinite ammo. I would. Part of me wants to try it, like quote unquote legit. Um. I imagine it'd be significantly harder if you try to do it like without new game plus weapons and whatnot. But um, I, I think Canty's strategy for the harder difficulties and then the speed runs and whatnot, it, it was just to, like, yeah, let's just grab that infinite grenade launcher and go to town. And that definitely seems like the way to go. Uh, public online lobbies are pretty fun uh, when you're trolling. I would agree. I think I'm just past that point personally where I'm just tired. I get off work. I, I don't want to even deal with people. <laughs> but uh, occasionally, like, yeah, I'll run into, like, a particular uh, dipwad on uh, on Siege or something who's being a jackass. And if I'm playing with friends, we'll, we'll just dunk on him for a quick minute. There we go. You very much enjoy making people rage. Yeah, if they go for it pretty easy, that can be kind of funny. Oh. There we go. Damn, this pistol's pretty freaking strong once you upgrade it. Fire's a lot slower than the M19, though. There we go. Not like collecting treasures at this point would really do much for me. I gotta keep going. So yeah, your kids troll you enough for severe lifetimes, for, or for, for several lifetimes. 
part of me is looking forward to having kids because, you know, it can be rewarding and whatnot, but yeah, that that's definitely going to happen also. That's not your baby, though. You're deluded. What? It's just Rose. My power is leaving me. Rose! It's true. I will have an excuse for my dad jokes. It just won't be pre-dad jokes. I, I will have a logical reason behind the cringe I produce. Interesting. Your body, sir. Normal. Nope. Give Rose to me. No! You will see. Once I kill you properly, everything. Get her now! Or you could just help me, Chris, and just keep shooting. Let go! I've spent a lifetime creating this moment. <laughs> and you try to take it away from me. I will oh. take what is due. My desires will be fulfilled! No. Rose is mine! I... I disagree, lady. Oh, shit. You fulfilled your purpose, Mr. I don't like fighting ostensibly naked people. It feels wrong. Oh shit. Come on, reload, Ethan. You can do it. Oh shit. Man, my fire rate on this is admittedly pretty low. Come on! No! Don't stun lock me! Oh shit. Oh shit. I shall finish Oh, I mind here. Apparently she can just shoot lava or some shit at this point. Here I come. You understand the level of parent of a child. How can you deny me? Why the hell can't you realize no. Oh shit. My goddamn kid, not yours. Your time is up! Now die! Oh shit. Shit. That's that was a horrible plan. I shall put you to rest. Shit. I just hope I have enough freaking health resources. Oh shit. That was that was a horrible plan. Just pour the magical wad for my ultimate I've never heals. Seen a human. Something, something, no kink in the village discord. Oh shit. Shit, let's get rid of that. <laughs> shit. I have plenty of ammo, this should be enough, right? Let's get this out of the way. Man, he's a friggin' bullet sponge. Ow. Let's see, one, two. I can take any four of my Oh, fucking damn it. Um, I can make two more health. Health juice Wawa drinks. After all, everyone dies. Good. Oh, great mega mice. Man, she Kill takes freaking forever to do. There we 
go. Blow up your little spirit bomb. Oh shit. I forgot about this. Now, Mr. Winters, I think it's time you left things in my hands. Go on, rest now. Come on, already. If I combine Rose with a Mega My Seat, my daughter will be made manifest at last. I've waited a century, a century, all for this day. Come on. You still stuck. Uh, shit, I'm not landing any of these. Big oh. shit. Shotgun ammo. Fuck yeah. Will this kill you? And get ammo. Why do you interfere? Surely you have no need for this now. Oh shit. So close to death. She's oh, my fuck. goddamn daughter. You psycho. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna use a pistol. I will not have him or anyone else take Rose or my dog. Hold still. Uh. <gasps> gonna have to heal again soon. Probably save my pistol ammo though, now that I think about it. Oh shit. Ever think the problem might be you, Miranda? Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. I it is a perfect time for me to just fucking craft shotgun ammo. You're not capable of real love. Die, 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 die. Oh shit. Where are you? There you are. Cease. How much freaking ammo do you take? You should have mutated into Chris's arms, ultimate final boss fight. Yep. For transforming to Chris, just like launching boulders at you by punching them. I think we got it. This is how you end To ensure I never see your face, I will fired Ethan. Man, I love the haptic feedback on this stuff. Come on, I'm I'm firing as fast as I can. There we go. Damn, that took like a million years. My daughter! My Eva! You did. I think. Yep. Basically dead. She has been enlightened. <laughs> the baby was inside her. What the fuck? Rose. I'm sorry, little dude. We'll get you. Shh. That poor baby's been through so much shit in the last 24 hours. Oh. Ethan's hands. This poor man's hands. <laughs> This dude just can't catch a fucking break. Ethan! Ethan! Come on, Ethan. Come on, Ethan, wake up. He's awake. He's just having an existential crisis at the moment. Chris, Ethan. You did it. Chris, what the fuck were you doing the whole goddamn time? 
You helped us with that first shot, and then after that, it was just like, uh, I don't know. I want Ethan to, to earn this. You literally can't catch a break in no hands. <laughs> oh, jeez. Keep moving, Ethan. He can't There's quite put his finger on it. Whole village sky high. Hey, look at me. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. Ah, damn it. Me is waiting for you. Chris, why are you even spending the time me? standing there? Just like alive. go. Grab him. Man. Pick him up. I'm so sorry. I love you. Keep Rose safe. Hey, hey. Hey. Aw, oh, he just told Chris that he loves him. And they go to such extreme lengths just to keep Tell this dude's yourself. face hidden. Oh, come on, it's not that much further. Watch over. Teach her to be strong. God damn it. I'm not gonna lie, this is like the most emotional that uh Resident Evil game has been up to this point. This Goodbye, is like surprisingly Heartfelt. Ethan. There's the baby. Let's go kiss that little baby on the forehead. <laughs> Chris should have said I love you too and then given him a big wet smooch. Hell yeah. Best ending right there. I didn't have enough paragon points though. Couldn't save Rex. It's okay though. We're gonna nuke Ashley. <laughs> There's the baby. With a big old low and explosive right in its face. Boom. Rose. How close Ethan didn't even wait like thirty seconds to do this. How did how did Go. fucking Chris sprint Go all the way over here now. with the baby? Ethan, uh, Ethan had get to moving. face his fears. We have to get clear. No, we can't go, not without my husband. And not the Kingdom Hearts Sit track known as not Face My Fears featuring Skrillex. I know he wouldn't abandon us. Tell Total side note, what's going on. but typically what Kingdom Hearts songs, the, the, the opening <laughs> ones and the credit ones, whatever, those are all bops. Um... As far as face my fears go, that that that's a low tier that? Kingdom Hearts songs. Sit down. Where is he? Chris, what have you done? He's gone. It's what he did, Mia. He wanted to try. He co he committed an Ethan. He stayed so we could all escape. When you... <laughs> oh, I love Sorry. you, JDB. Captain. Like the like that first song especially because you know it's the first it's just iconic, and then even uh, Sanctuary and Two is pretty cool, and they just kind of like jump back and forth between using those for like all the spin-off games and whatnot. Yeah, now they're just the BSA is turning evil, uh, using bioweapon soldiers. Rest of the squad. Plot a course for BSA Europe HQ. Someone's gotta pay. I'm really hoping this uh, this BAA stuff is um, is gonna pay off with a DLC versus having to wait for like an, a whole new game. That is a uh, VII Age. Yeah, that's the name of the game. He pulls out later, <laughs> waves around in rhythm. Uh, Freaking Kingdom Hearts 3 is on sale. Ooh, tempted to get it, but not really since Kingdom Hearts 2 was the last time you played. So you haven't played any of the other games in the series? Um, 
Man, if you jump straight in a three, you're gonna be so lost. I think, um... If you're only on PC... Um... I know all the, all the games are on PC now. I don't recall... Because I know, like, I think all of them are on Game Pass for console. I don't know if they're on Game Pass for PC. I could look that up, actually. Shit, Chain of Memories is important <laughs> than all the other stuff. Every, like, little minor thing they've done over, over the years is, like, stupidly important. Uh, the Kingdom Hearts Game Pass. Or Game Pass PC, I should say. Uh, d -d 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 -d. apparently not. Nope. Not on Game Pass PC. <laughs> That sucks. Let's see. Uh, gr gotta run. It was fun hanging out as always. Have a good rest of the day. Thanks, Ramen. Appreciate that. It's always fun hanging out with you, dude. Alright, so we still have, like, an hour to kill. Um, I I'd like to at least do, like, a bare minimum of two hours for each stream. Even though I'm admittedly very tired at the moment. Um... So we have a couple of different options we can do. I can... Oh, I forgot there's this cutscene. Whoa, is that Ethan's jacket? Who is this girl and why did she steal Ethan's jacket? Nobody can touch the moon, it's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay. Then you can touch it, but it'd be very, very cool. Freaking Ethan Winter's jacket stealer right here. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon feels like you. It's, it's kind of weird that they made that like such an, well, quote unquote, iconic part of his design here in Village when he didn't even have it in, in Seven. It's not like some piece of clothing he's been like so steadily attached to. It just kind of, it's just kind of what he decided to wear that night. Hey, Dad. Happy birthday. Kind husband and loving father who put family before. What would, would that say himself? Last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. <laughs> Why is the background so freaking white? It's so sunny. Talk of the goddamn devil. Duty calls. I love you. Yeah, I found her. Where else? I'm interested to see if they do anything with Rose going forward. Need a situation? You're needed, Evelyn. Ooh. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa. Whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. Real shitty joke. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. We have a clear shot. Stand down. I can handle it. You can handle it if you're not being a little fucking dipshit. Way to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know. Don't go back to being my buddy all of a sudden after you do something fucked up like that, little dipshit. I know. All right, I need to pay attention to this. As I kind of saw it last time on the road right there. Yep, just suddenly appears back there. Just some dude walking. Like, I know this, this isn't supposed to be like some literal who is the person walking there. This is of great importance. Um, it's supposed to be some little nice touch, like, oh, look, Ethan's walking towards his daughter, but I wouldn't look too much into it. The father's story is now done. That uh, yeah, he he's dead. I, I would imagine so. <laughs> Unless there's gonna be like some further shenanigans to somehow bring him back. 
Let's see. Oh, I beat that even faster than uh, the first time I played. I uh, shaved off a whole hour. And that was still with, you know, like streaming stuff and whatnot, so it's a little bit slower than if I was just playing it uh, normally. Uh, difficulty level, Village of Shadows added. Cool. Unlocked content in the bonuses menu. Challenges and extra content shop. New movies, special weapon. Uh, challenges completed. Save. Completed data save successful. Uh, let's go check out some of those bonuses, actually. And then I'll just pose this question and then people can answer. Um, so we still have like an hour to kill, so I can either do like some mercenaries, which is like the score attack mode in here in Village. I can do some Mass Effects and do some Apex. Um, and do some Siege. What else do I have installed? Um, why am I... Can I filter by what's installed? Most recent... Oh, there we go. Uh, so yeah, we can either do some mercenaries in, in Village, or we can do... Um, Siege, Mass Effect, or Apex also. So if you have a preference, uh, go ahead. Otherwise, I think I might default to some... Play some Mass Effect since that's all I'm gossiping about on Twitter. Might as well. Uh, extra content shop. Mercenaries for only 10 points. Hell yeah. Gotta know what all the hype's about. Oh, if you haven't played Mass Effect, you gotta, you gotta jump in. It's a good time. Infinite ammo. Where is the grenade launcher? Yeah. Infinite ammo for the GM-79 grenade launcher. Story mode only. Oh, hell yeah. That is going to make these other, these other modes like such a fucking breeze. Holy shit. Um... Let's upgrade some of this other stuff, I guess. I guess that, that's like the important one to have. So. Be what it be. Alright. Uh, I think when Mass Effect 3 was out, you were hardcore into Fallout 3. Uh, when did Fallout 3 come out? 2008. I want to say... I don't, I don't think it was 2007. I think it was 2008. 